Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Justin and welcome to another Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to talk about geometric means. So what is a geometric mean? Okay, let's define what is a geometric mean. A geometric mean is the terms between any two non-consecutive terms of a geometric sequence. So for example, we have this, 4 blank 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 64. So we have three missing terms between these two non-consecutive terms. So this three parts here are called the geometric means. So how do we solve this? How do we solve a geometric mean? So to solve this, we will still use the same formula x sub n is equal to x sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So in this case, we're not going to solve for the nth term of a geometric sequence, but instead we're going to look for the common ratio. So this will be our main objective in solving our geometric mean. Now, let's identify our given. So our first term is 4. Our last term, or the fifth term, is 64. Now, in our given, we have five terms. So, we have n is equal to 5. Now that we have this, we can substitute and replace everything by our given. So, we have x of 5 is equal to 4 times r raised to 5 minus 1. Now, again, we will replace our last term by 64. So we have 64 is equal to 4 times r raised to 4. So take note that I already simplified our exponent. Okay, let's divide both sides by 4 to isolate our variable. Ayan. So 64 divided by 4, that will give us 16. And then to eliminate the exponent from our variable, we need to get the fourth root of this term. So we have the fourth root of r raised to 4 and since we are going to get the fourth root of one side, we will also apply the same thing on the left side. So the fourth root of 16 is equal to 2. So our common ratio for this geometric sequence will be 2. Now that we have our common ratio, we will just multiply 2 for every term. So for example, 4 times 2, it will give us 8. 8 times 2, it will give us 16. And 16 times 2, it will give us 32. And 32 times 2, that will be 64. Alright, okay, let's have our next example. So for example, we have 6 blank 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 and 6 1144. So we have four missing terms until we reach the end term. So how are we going to solve this? We will still use the same geometric sequence formula, which is x sub n is equal to x sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. And again, our main objective is for us to find the common ratio. So let's identify our given. Our first term is 6. And our last term, or our sixth term, is 6,144. So our number of terms is 6 because we have 6 terms in our sequence. Now let's solve for our common ratio. So to solve for our common ratio, we will substitute all the given in our formula. So x sub 6 is equal to 6 times r raised to 6 minus 1. Let's replace the 6th term by 6144. So we have 6144 is equal to 6 times r raised to 5. So take note, I also simplified the exponent. Now, let's proceed to solving for the value of r. Let's divide both sides by 6 to cancel out the coefficient. So cancel. So 6144 divided by 6, it will give us 
1024. Then, to get the value of R, we will get the fifth root of both sides. So, we will get the fifth root of R raised to 5 and the fifth root of 1024. And the fifth root of 1024 is equal to 4. Okay? And that is our common ratio. Now that we have our common ratio, we will now multiply our first term to get our second term. So multiply 6 by our common ratio, which is 4, and it will give us the second term, 24. 24 times 4, it will be 96. And 96 times 4, it will be 384. And 384 times 4, it is equal to 1,536. And multiply it by 4, it will give us 6,144. Alright. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments, questions, recommendations, suggestions, please leave them in our comment section below. Share this video and subscribe. And for more videos like this, go to my channel, Teacher Justin. That's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video.